Hey everyone, what is up? Trickisty here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a multi-client TCP chat server. So first of all, create two folders, one server, one client. We'll be starting off with the client one. Create a new auto IT document. Let's edit it. You can delete that. Let's first off make a GUI. For this, we'll just use Coda. We'll need three input boxes, one for IP, one for port, and one for username. Because this is a multi-client chat, usernames will be very important and will be unique to the user who creates them. So I'm not going to add in any um, text labels, just to save, save some time. Go and label everything. This is input address. Input port. Oh, whoops. And this is the connect button. Alright. Form, we'll call it client. Whoopsies. So, why can't I get the code? Well, there we go. That was weird. So let's paste this in here. Just to keep it clean. We're going to add another include if I... Oh. Fuck off. Uh, let's do an opt. And this will be... What is it called? Um, GUI... On GUI on event mode. TCP startup. Let's create a global variable. Call it server negative one. Another variable which will be logs. All right. An event it should close on the close event, okay. 
Let's go on to the connection button. Starts. All right, and after this, let's do win set on top. Our GUI is client GUI. That should be true. All right. Now we've got the initial settings for the login GUI created. Now let's create another GUI for the chat so where you'll be able to read the history and input your message. So this I'm just gonna write out because I actually have it memorized which is kind of weird. For the most part, if I make a mistake, I'll just whatever, find out at some point. So, GUI create, um, TCP chat history three seventy five. 275 copy this paste that So this will be a, this will, um, create edit, no, not date, I said edit, there we go, no text, uh, zero, one, width uh, 375 yeah height 200 style um, ooh, it was 21, um, 0, 03, 360, I believe it was, plus, yes, multi-line, right, so that's not, I'll just, I'll check it later. Font. I don't really care about font right now. So I'm just going to leave out the font. But. Uh, set. Background color. So negative one is the same thing as inputting the variable history in here. I'm just too lazy to write that all out. That's all fine and good. Whatever. Zero X. Um, yeah, I got this. 83 B4. Before, before FC, right.
and then set color. Zero X F. F, 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 F. There we go. Now we want to create the send bar at the bottom of the chat, like in every proper uh, chat there is. Yeah. Create another edit. Okay, and set color of that to A3, B4, FC. Oh, whoops. Let's see. And oh, GUI set state at, and we want this one to be hidden until we have connected with our server. All right. So, remove this part, and let's get started with the actual coding. Start off creating a while. Well, one loop. Max length um, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million bytes. That yeah, that should be fine. If at error, then. No. We set state of or no, first off the flag, right?
Telling us a message box. Server note, I guess. You have been disconnected. Oh my gosh. Can't even write disconnected from the server. From the from the server. All right, and then we'll go to disconnect. We haven't uh, created the function disconnect yet. We will do that in a sec. And if. Okay. Next if. So we'll be creating a few uh, if statements for errors. We'll have this one, which is uh, disconnected from the server, if nothing, nothing happens, um, we'll have username already exists, max connections, and IP band. So yeah, the admin. Who is who has the server, or who is on the server side and is running the server can ban IPs. All right, so I'm just going to quickly type this up and resume in a second. <laughs> 